Okay, so, recording, good. So, let's, everybody go to the schedule page. Everybody go to the schedule page. Okay, get that open in front of you. I want to explain these things to you. Because there's not just, there's three rainy day coupons and they all kind of act the same way. Although only one makes sense right now. So, schedule page. And what I'll do is once I get this video uh, 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 processed and on YouTube, I'll put a link to it right here next to it so you can see how these things work. So once you're on the schedule page, just click on that rainy day coupons link. Okay. And then you get, there's actually four of them all together. Only three of them you have to do anything for. The fourth one is called a rainy day blackboard coupon. And that comes in real handy for those times when you can't get something in the right format. And, or it's rotated the wrong way, or you send me like 12,000 pages. And what I just do is I just print them. I just print them, I grade them, I give them back to you, and I make a note that you used one of your blackboards. You don't have to actually cut these out and submit them. That's left. So back in the day, I used to actually collect hard copies, so you actually did have to do that, but now you don't. It's all just automated. So I, I, I left them in because it reminds me of my, my grandma. She used to click coupons to get it on very little, so it's a nice personal memory. Anyway, so this one, most people don't use these at all. Some people use them once, very few pe people use them twice. You get two of these. So if something goofs up and you submit the wrong kind of file format or something along those lines, I just put a check in Blackboard, or I, I put a check in uh, Excel that you use one of those coupons and we keep going. That's all that is, that's all that is. So those really, you can ignore these because they don't really count for anything. That they're, they're happening in the background. I want you to think about the other ones. Let's make these bigger so you can see them. So let's look at this rainy day exam number one coupon. It's kind of visible. Yeah, it's kind of visible. So the way this works is it allows you to get five points back on the exam you just got returned to you. So you can go back, look at that exam, and get five points back on it. What I've learned over time is it's much better. I just had a friend who just got back from hiking the Inca Trail. Just got back. I swear to God, this is related to your math. She got home. I talked to her on Saturday, and she said, you know, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to read all those books and articles that I read about the Inca Trail the first time. Because when I read them the first time, it didn't make any sense. But now that I've actually walked the trail, walked up and down those hills, had those struggles, like she almost broke her knee at one point, I think. But now, oh, she's fine. She didn't fall in. Everything's good. Thank you for the concern. I appreciate that. But the thing about it is, now that she's gone through that struggle and all that work, she can go back and look at it again and get more out of it. That's what this is. Once you've gone through the exam, you've done the exam, you've submitted the exam, if you lost some points, get some points back. That's all. It's a way to go back and look at it again. That's what the, that's what the point is. Now, the way you get the points, the way you get the points, you have to observe all these things up here. For, and and it, it, helps, it helps. It's easiest to do this, I think, like a Word document. Open a blank Word document. The first thing, hi. The first thing I want you to do is copy and paste the question or questions that you are correcting. It's question or questions because depending on which one or ones you're doing, there might be one point or two point questions. You might be doing a couple of those. Okay, number one. Then copy and paste your original <coughs> erroneous solutions. So just copy and paste right off your exam, drop it into that document with it. Okay? And just like mark them. Like this is where I goofed up. Hi. Thank you. Then under that, Add your corrected solutions and label those. Here's my next attempt. Here's where I did it right. Makes sense so far? Makes sense so far, hopefully. Okay, good. Then here comes the crux of the learning, in my opinion. You write at least one sentence explaining the mistakes you made on each problem the first time. It might be something simple like, I read a table wrong, or I forgot what a hypotenuse was, or something. I mean, who knows what, what the error would be. You're gonna, you're gonna try to think back and remember what happened the first time and write about what happened that first time. And then the last thing you do is you write about one sentence describing what you learned from doing each problem again. What you learned from looking at it again and doing it again. This is me going back after the intro, reading the paragraph and the article again. Make it sense so far? So document. I've got a Blackboard folder ready for you to submit that to. So, ready? make it make sense so far, hopefully. Talk to me, Alicia. It's only for exam one because exam two is the next one. It's not due till week 11. You're going to submit that. I'm never going to see you again. Oh, that, I, feel, I, feel, I feel so loved right now. I should say, I shouldn't say I'm never going to see you again. I'm just not going to see you in this class again. That, I feel so loved. I'm not going to lie to you. 
you hear that, YouTube world? <laughs> so, so the idea is that's the last thing you submit. We all, and it's during the exam week, and we don't have class barring we weird weather or something. We're not gonna have class that week, so you'll just submit it. And I, I won't see you after week ten, but that's through week eleven. Okay. So that makes help. That makes sense. Yeah. That's why there's no exam two correction. Okay. There is a rainy day project and quiz coupon. Just rest assured they work the same as the exam ones, but I don't want to talk anymore about them right now just because it makes more sense to talk about them later. The exam one's timely. I want this these corrections turned in by Friday at 10. Do you know why? That's when you grade. Well, that's when I grade. But why not next Friday at 10? Or three Fridays at 10? Or at the end of the term? Yeah. Well, well, A, you'll find, I didn't forget about that. You'll forget, but Alicia, I think you hit it. It's not applicable. Oh, it's applicable. Or the, it's not... Exactly. You probably would let it go and it would get lost in it. Because remember, we only have so much RAM available. You guys have much more than me, thank God. But the thing about it is, is once you start scouting back, the thing about it is, is I want to get it, hit it while it's fresh. Hit it while you just submitted it. You're probably still thinking about this stuff a little bit. Hit the corrections now while you're thinking about them fresh. It'll be applicable, just not in the kind of intense way it's applicable right now. And Gina, let's be honest, you might forget too. You might very well forget. I mean, I would forget. That's why I have Outlook reminding me things constantly. So. Just look at the points I took off. This is a good question, actually. If you look at your exam and I put the I put little comments pointing to the boxes, add up those points and correct up to five. You can correct more. I think you get more than five points back. Yeah. A couple footnotes. Uh, the corrections must be correct. I, I'm sorry I have to put that on there, but a few years ago when I started doing these rainy day coupons. Somebody submitted a bunch of wrong stuff, and I didn't get any point, and I got upset. And they said, well, you never said they had to be right. I'm like, they're called corrections. Oh and this person said, but they doesn't say they have to be right. I'm like, oh my God, future lawyer of America. So, <laughs> fine print, must be correct. There we go, must be correct. Talk to me. So, um, where does somebody look if they want to see their uh, exam with your marks on it? In Blackboard. They're all there. It is in it's Blackboard. It's in Blackboard. There's a little black. The one thing that's goofy about Blackboard, and I can't show you on mine, yeah. But you sometimes have to slide scroll bars to see my comments for some reason. Uh, so I don't know why that is, Mary and everybody else. When you're in Blackboard looking at your exam, if you lost points, there'll be a comment box pointing to it. And sometimes you have to scroll over to see that. And Blackboard's kind of annoying. I've got a bunch of emails into them. They haven't emailed me back, surprise. But you have to scroll two different, three different bars sometimes. There's the big Internet Explorer or Firefox bar you're scrolling. Then there's the vertical scroll in Blackboard and the horizontal scroll. And exactly, honestly, like, yes, that. So what you have to do is you have to scroll the Blackboard vertical all the way down and then scroll the horizontal one over. And I wish it was less annoying than that, but it's, it's not, unfortunately. Uh, let's see what else. All steps above must be fully completed to be awarded points. Folks, you gotta get all five of these. Don't forget the reflection part, the writing about what you did wrong and what you learned by doing it again. That's, that's huge. For me, that's the learning, talking about it. Correcting, it's one thing, but then talking about it is definitely as, if not more important than the correcting it. Okay, I know it's weird in math to answer questions like, what does this mean? What do you think? What does this show you? I know that's weird, but the thing about it is, that's life, explaining stuff like that. Uh, this coupon may not be used for any other assignments, okay? Due date, Friday, 10 a.m., week after exam grades are returned. So that's, that's what we got to talk about that. Yeah? So in 5898, just FYI, we were required to do reflections. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not gonna say that they got that for me because I think this is the way most math courses are going oh. in the country. Oh. It's a slow process, but yeah. it's definitely good. Math, I don't want math to ever seem like it's this series of formulas you plug things into and get numbers out from. Very often it's about exploring stuff and seeing what's the most logical explanation for something. So, okay, does this all make sense? Hopefully, hopefully, any, any questions? That's not too long, was it? That was only nine minutes of video. Too long, damn it.